Hello everybody, it's me Eater and welcome to a Dragon Ball Super Review. Oh my god! 17 is obviously one of the strongest members on the team. 17 might equal Goku. GT might be canon. Holy shit. Let's get into it. Fuck. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna skip with the boring shit, okay? I'm gonna skip right to the good shit. The fight between Goku and 17. Seven is my favorite character now. He straight mollywopped Goku. And I'm pretty sure Goku wasn't even holding back this time. This time, Goku wasn't holding back. He was going full force, okay? He was straight going full force. And he was giving Goku the business. He was just... Okay, Super Saiyan... Goku went Super Saiyan against 17, right? Mmm! 17 outclassed this man, all right? He outclassed him. He straight outclassed him. He gave him, he, he actually knocked the wind out of Goku. He knocked him all the way up into the clouds and he's just like, God damn. They treated him like a Michael shit. All right, after that, right? Goku then proceeds to go Super Saiyan Blue and he states, I didn't even mean to go this far. So you know, Super Saiyan it, he's strong. Seventeen is at least stronger than Super Saiyan. All right. Goku then uses. Goku then uses a Kaioken. No. God damn it. I'm so hype. Oh my god. The next episode is about to be crisp. I'm just I'm so excited. Okay. Goku then uses a Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha, and Seventeen just stops it one hand. One hand. Just one hand. He straight stops it. It's like. And Goku's like, yeah, of course I did it. And then 17, like, like, comes out of nowhere. He's just like, what you gonna do? And so they're fighting, right? They're just straight fighting, okay? And then... 17 hasn't even used any energy attacks, okay? We know he can do it. He did an energy barrier, but that shit should have broke. So you know how strong 17 has to be in order for that shit to stand up. It's not even... Oh my god, it's... Oh my god. 17's probably the third or second strongest on the team. Like, Goku. He, he 17 was like, You're not using your full power, are you? And, like, Goku was like, You still haven't gone full power either. And this is straight. This is against Super Saiyan Blue, okay? This is against Blue. So you gotta see. So I, I'm pretty sure Goku wasn't holding back at all. Like, he didn't want to destroy the, the wildlife, but his attacks. They. It... No, no, 17 might be the strongest on the team. Now, I, I really don't know. I really don't even know. 17 might be the strongest in Universe 7. He might actually be the strongest from what I from this episode. He might be the strongest, and it's not even that's not even a joke. Also, let's get into why. Let's get into something else. The end of Z is still canon. The end of Z. Where Goku flies off to train Oob. Yeah, that's still canon, by the way. And apparently he's a lot stronger than we thought he was. So, yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, he's... God. Goku. He's just... I don't know. I don't know. He's just too strong. Alright, let's get into the actual episode review, right? Okay, so... Hold up, I gotta get my shit together because th that fight just hyped me up so much I forgot like everything. Okay, okay. So first, Goku goes to go visit Dende, visit Dende or whatever. Okay, he does this right, and Dende is like, fucking yeah, this is this shit was obnoxious. I actually pissed me off. Then it was like, oh yeah, seventeen. Uh, yeah, that nigga's strong now. We're lucky he's not an enemy. Fuck, dude. Fuck. So apparently, like. 17 was already super strong and did they knew this right but then his bitch ass he wants to mention oob it's very clear it was oob okay so he's like oh hey, hey man there's a little kid whose fighting potential is high as shit okay and like he's you need to t train him and the Goku's like what the fuck are you talking about did they I'll, I'll trade people fuck out of here and then go then it's like no, this nigga's the reincarnation of Boo. 
To which Goku has a flashback. And it's just like... That nigga? He's, he's alive. He's a reincarnation, right? Then it's like, yeah, but he's still, still small. And then it's like... It was like, oh, he's just a little guy. I can't recruit him for the fucking terrible power. Who gives a shit, right? By the way, we're 17 FM. Oh, God. These fucking DJ Khaled ads on. My bad. I'm I'm jury rigging my freaking uh, TV for a... Uh, to, to play music in the background. It's a nice touch. That's why I don't have to edit. Kaleidoscope. Um. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's th then Goku goes to uh, the island. Well, then they taps, um, taps the lookout, and he just teleports him to the island. Right? It just teleports. Uh... Ooh, that's clean. That music. Ooh, that's nice though, man. So um, then they taps the lookout, and then they go straight to the 17th island. To which Goku just parasails down. He doesn't parasail. And he just like straight like. 17's introduced in the most badass way ever. 17's obviously the most badass character in all in all of Dragon Ball history. I don't care what you say. I, I, I don't care. Vegeta, not fuck that nigga. Like, 17's badass, okay? 17's actually a badass now. He's, he's just... I, I don't know what to do. He, he's too strong. He, he's way too strong. So, he, he takes out a whole bunch of poachers, right? Doesn't seem impressive, but the way he does it, it's like... <clears throat> Get it, I am. All right. He does that right. He doesn't kill any of the poachers either. He's a good guy. He he wants to protect all of nature, which is ironic because we know why. And uh, then Goku and uh, Goku and Seventeen have an exchange of words. They're like, "Oh, you never met me, right? Uh, yeah, I, I know who you are, though." And goes like, "Sweet, sweet." Show me around the place. I, I I'd love to see everything, fam. I love to. There's something to port on this island that these niggas keep showing up for. Okay. Uh, I'm skipping over another scene. Who gives a shit? They just fucked up some tanks. Goku like one hit like twenty of them though. That's really. It's really impressive though. Um. Okay, so then seventeen shows Goku something called a Minotaurus. And it's basically just a minotaur that's not a minotaur. It's a bull. It's a bull. And he's like, yeah, nigga, I protect this. And Goku's like, oh, yeah, I protect monsters, too. That's, not, that, that's nice. I, I, I guess that's cool. I guess that's cool. It was then... Ah, oh, goddamn. I, I'm, I don't give a shit. Okay, so... Oh, my God. Then, 17 and Goku gets to fighting. And it is... It's one of the cleanest fights in Super. That hit fight, no. I, I didn't, I never even liked 17, okay? I have to start to, Goku was my favorite character, so, you know, you know, you know, I was wild out, you know, I was Goku, Goku was my man, okay? No. No, um. No, uh, 17. About whooped this nigga's ass. I, he about straight fucked up Goku, and, like, whew. Sounds clean too. All right, so seventeen, he fights Goku right. He stomps him. He Goku's actually trying. It's very clear he's actually trying this time. There's none of that holding back bullshit argument. Seventeen's like, so. God damn, seventeen's high shit. Dude. Um, after the battle, uh, oh my god, it's just so clean. It's about ten minutes of just like straight fight, five or ten minutes. It's, it's so good. And so then Goku and uh, 17 are having a campfire. And like 17 explains he has a wife, three kids, and he makes a really good deal. That shit. Uh, my, sh my camera stopped. It's not working for a second. My bad. Okay, so. Um, what was that? 17 then proceeds to like uh, show him his family. We don't get to see 17's family. He has a wife and three kids. Two are adopted. Only one of them are, are, uh, are, what is this? Only one of them are his biological, or his biological kid. It is fine, he doesn't give a shit. And then, 
I'm, I'm kind of trouble. I'm kind of shit with the... Okay, so then, um... Fuck, I, I'm sorry. I don't... It, this episode was too clean, fam. It was like, oh, it was great. And then... So she's like... You're not here just to recruit me for a tournament. To which Goku... He's pushed into a corner and Goku's like, Alright, if we lose the mo the universe is gonna die. We're gonna all get erased. And like, Seventeen's like, Shit, if the whole universe is getting erased, whatever. And that was a dick move of Seventeen. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that was, a, that was a dick move. But, you know... He's still a badass. I can't, I can't. I can't even deduct points for that, dude. It's, it's so good. It was, it was great. It's, it's honestly great. Um. Yeah. Uh. The end of Z is still canon. I was hoping it wouldn't be. It is still. So shit. So we still get a shit ending to Dragon Ball Z. And um, that's gonna be all. If you like this video, give me a like. Give me a subscribe, maybe comment down below. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't, tell me, tell me what you like about this video. Uh, tell me what I could do better. Uh, I'm it's my first time testing out like a a straight like music system, but you know, and still lighting. I, I still it's still lighting. Um, but yeah, that's all. Thank you, and uh, either on signing out. See ya. <laughs>